How you doing guys? Um, just going to show you a quick video um, in relation to uh, an issue that crops up in the clinic a lot of the time. So this kind of has been brought to my attention by a lot of running clients that I've actually had through the doors. And there's one thing that I commonly find, regardless of what their, their injury is, be it knee pain, uh, chronic Achilles pain, um, you know, calf, muscle issues, all that kind of stuff. Um, is what's called a lack of ankle dorsiflexion, so the ability of the ankle to move, okay, so bringing the toes up towards the head. So, um, what we're just going to do is run through how to do a bit of a self-assessment on uh, dorsiflexion in at the ankle and things that you can kind of go about doing about it, okay. So, self-assessment with the ankle. Let's call this a wall, okay. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to put your foot up against the wall. So ideally you'd be standing, okay? Um, and then you're just going to put your knee in against the wall. And that's the dorsiflexion. So that angle there where the foot is flat on the floor, the shin is coming down. That's what you would call dorsiflexion, okay? Now, in an ideal world, if we have optimal dorsiflexion, we should be able to bring our foot out between 10 and 12 centimeters from the wall and get our knee to the wall still. Okay, so again, better standing. Should be able to touch that knee to the wall, okay? Obviously, I'm lacking dorsiflexion on this side. Um, also keeping our foot flat on the ground. So as soon as that heel begins to lift off the ground, we're cheating, okay? So, um, I don't have that level of dorsiflexion. So what I'll do is I'll just make a mental note. I'll pick a point and I'll find where I'm able to do it. So I, there I can see, I feel a bit of a stretch in at the calf. I can feel my heel wanting to lift, but I can get my knee there comfortably. Okay, so I know that from my mental note, I'm about four or five centimeters away from the wall. Okay, not optimal, not ideal, but it's better. Okay, so um, some people struggle. So um, I've had some people who have struggled with just one centimeter away from the wall, couldn't get that knee into the wall. Okay, and you're just going to have a lot of issues kind of going upstream if you don't have any dorsiflexion in that ankle. All right, um, so what can we do about it? All right, so one way of Kind of really helping so i always like to do a test and retest i also like to do things with my shoes off okay so you can get a false reading with the shoes on so take them off obviously they have quite a big heel on them so and um, your heel will already be elevated so you're going to get a false reading with the shoes on okay so here i am doing my test I'm about five centimeters there with that particular ankle, that's fine, okay? So I'm gonna bring it out and then, so I struggle here, okay? I'm about maybe eight centimeters away. I'll go in a little bit more and there I'm struggling still. So I'm just about six, seven centimeters there um, of dorsiflexion, all right? So what can I do about that? Well, one really nice thing to do it's a bit hard, but it's, it's a nice way to get a little bit of motion back into the ankle. Is with this leg trailing behind, just leaning your weight in and hold it there, okay? And again, don't let that heel come up off the ground. Keep your foot planted on the ground, okay? Hold it there for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. But what I want you to do now is I want you to concentrate, think about bringing your toes up towards your head so you're going to feel the muscles in the front of your leg fire kicking in okay so bring those toes up towards and then what you do is going to slowly rock back so now that your toes are sticking up okay you're going to feel the muscle in the front of that leg really kicking in there relax that then go back in so allow that stretch so allow your body weight to fall on the knee keeping your heel flat on the ground bringing your toes up towards your head and then rock back and have your toes up, okay? So do that four or five times. And bring those toes. What you find is you actually start feeling this in the quads as well, okay? Rock back into it, 
being the body weight on top of it. Obviously, I have a bit more body weight than other people may have. You can add some extra weight onto this if you want. Bring the toes up towards the head. Walk back on. Okay? Then we're going to retest. For seven centimeters away, I can do it absolutely no problem now. So I'm going to come out a good bit, so we're at our 10 or 12 centimeters, still not there. Trickle in a little bit. There we go. So just with that short little burst, I'm actually gaining a bit more dorsiflexion in there. Okay, so if you do that for a few times on a daily basis, you're really going to improve that dorsiflexion in the angle. And it's going to have our dorsiflexion angle there. And it's really going to have a big improvement on how you run, um, any kind of jumping activities that you're doing, squatting activities, anything like that. It's really going to have a big impact. So give it a go. Um, Give me a shout and ask if you have any questions and I'll be happy.